and we are live. Hello, everybody. I got to wait for mine to start so I can mute it because I forgot to do that. It usually takes about 30 seconds for our YouTube to catch up. Come on. There we go. 30 seconds for our See how, what I meant by the, the double volume? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hi everybody. I have, um, as a lot of you guys were watching last week, I started with a eight and a half by 11 album for Emily for her wedding book. And this is what I got done so far and realized after doing these two pages that it's too small. I'm not liking the way it's coming out. So I am going to be starting over, pretty much redoing these two pages um, but I'm going to do it on a 12 by 12. So today um, I am going to start on the cover and this is the album that it's going to be. And I'm not sure how well you guys can see it. There we go. Okay. And um, so I'm going to be using, this is going to be where the cover is. Yeah. That's going to be like this like that, and then I'm gonna decorate it up and a whole bunch of things. And I'm also going to be using this one to go over like that. And it's gonna be under the paper. And you're not gonna see it because there's gonna be roses and things like that all around it. Um, and on the stream with me is Diane Lee, who is a really good friend of mine and she wants to learn how to do scrapbooking and things. So that project is also gonna be coming up. Um, I don't know if we're gonna live stream it, but certainly um, there will be things that I'm going to be teaching her how to do. But if anybody's interested in learning as well, please get in touch with me and uh, they, you know, I can certainly teach them the same type of projects that we're going to be, I'm going to be doing with Diane. Um, so today I'm going to just start with something simple. We're going to do the pages. We're going to, to do this as well. So knowing, just getting started on that. Hmm. I think, I'm trying to remember how I did the other one. And I think with the other one, I started with the actual ribbon. So let's do it that part. And I think I'm gonna go with this one. And I think, what do you think? If I do the small one like that. Okay, I'll show you the other one so you guys get an idea of what I've done. So this is the this is the other one that I designed, that it had the, the ribbon and the things like that, but I don't have, don't have any more of this, I think. I'm out of all of that. I used it all on that album. I'm pretty sure I don't. I don't remember. I can put it someplace else. I used it all. I was making that album. Oh, no, I found something else. Okay. I do have more of the other one. Woohoo! I thought I had used it all. So, I'm trying to remember yeah, this one I know I used because that one's underneath. Okay, I don't know I'm going to mix and match it because I don't think I've got enough of this one. One, two, three. 
Yeah, and that one. So, let's see what I can do here. Where's the other one? It's going to be enough. Diane, since we can hear you typing, maybe you, as long as you don't mind that. <laughs> well, I can mute that too if I need to. It's up to you. As long as you don't mind us hearing you typing away. Well, I do have the ability to mute myself with my headset, so yeah. I can do that. Yeah. Hey, Wendy. Hi, Joe. Sorry, I'm not. It was supposed to be Diane's job to tell me who was on. Sorry. <laughs> well, we have Have It All or Have At It. That's Joe. We have Lise Bedard. Yep. Hi, Lise. I didn't see you come in. And Wendy. Hi, Wendy. She says she can't stay long, but she just wanted to pop in and That's say hello. Like three o'clock in the morning for her, so I don't blame you, hon. Yeah, I think I really like this one. I think it's going to work if I do it right on the edge like I did the other one. I wish I had some more of that other one, but it doesn't seem like I do. I can use this one temporarily, and then... Use maybe use some of this one on this section here. I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Let's start it with this. Okay, so we are going to let's see. I'm going to use a three in one beacon, and let's hope this works like fabric tack. Because if it doesn't, I'm screwed. Okay, so. I'm going to do it like this. Because I think that's the way that one was done. So I have that white one. I don't have any more of the other ones. So I only have this white. So I think. I have enough. I think I want to do this one on top like that. What do you guys think? Oh, can't see it. All right. Like that. Do it as a double like that, double layer. And then I'm going to put a, a row of white pearls on top of it. Yeah, I think that's Ooh, that'd be pretty. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I like that. You, I don't want, I don't like it. Like if I had it, I would use it, but I don't have too much of the, um, I don't have any more of the white satin or the white see-through. So to do it the, the way the other one was. Okay, so. Ooh, what is that? <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm uh, switching to my phone because I have to go for an appointment and I'm taking you with me. Ah, okay. So I'm going to get off the computer and do it on my phone. Okay. Are you, you're on your phone now? All right. So. Yeah, I'm on my phone now. Okay. Yeah, my appointment, um, I have the uh, counseling appointment today at two o'clock for, well, it's virtual for the smoking sensation. So. 
every Thursday she has a group get together with all the people that um, have wanted are have sm stopped smoking or wanted to think or are thinking about sm stopping to smoke. So, and she's invited me since I am now three months, three months. So I am really, really happy about that. So started stop smoking on November 19th. So. Okay. Now, I do not have very much room. Sorry, knocked over. If anybody has ever used the three-in-one beacon, let me know how it works. Because so far, it's not too, too bad. It, it seems like it's working the same way as the fabric tack. Except that I need something to hold this down. All right, there we go. That knocking over. There we go. And I apologize if you can't see it on Your cam. Your show's going on a little adventure with me. <laughs> That's okay. I don't mind going for the for the ride. Okay, thanks, Joe. I wasn't sure if it was the same as Fabric Tac or not, because this is all I could get my hands on. We are still on lockdown, and we've been on lockdown since um, November. Uh, no, sorry, um, Boxing Day. So where I normally get the fabric tack is through Michael's and uh, Walmart, but Walmart didn't have any. And Michael's is just a real pain to um, buy anything off because you have to do it on their website. And then you have to wait for them to send you an email. And then they have to send you another email letting you know whether they've got it in stock. And if it's not there, then you have to do it again. And yeah, I said, no, I'm not going to go through this. Not after my experience with trying to get some simple Halloween paper and ended up in a disaster because um, they sent it to me. And then, no, they, I bought it. I had to buy it three times at three different places. And they still didn't have all the pieces to it. And then by the time they let me know that it wasn't there, my account had been dinged three times. And it was just, yeah, a nightmare. So finally, the head office sent me the order. They shipped it out. And then it never got to me. So I was like, okay, that's it. No more. Never again. The uh, show is going on a little road trip. Okay, that did not work. I'm going to have to use... Yeah, I'm going to have to use the clips. Until it actually sets. There we go. Now we got it. Uh, drive safe. We're, we're watching Diane drive to her appointment while I'm doing this uh, this thing. Now you also want to be careful when you're doing corners and stuff, um, especially with lace because that way it doesn't pull on the corners and look like it's been things so you want to kind of tuck it in 
and I'll show you what I mean afterwards when I get the first section going. There. So what you want to do is put it into a corner and kind of overlap the two um, pieces of lace so that it goes into a nice crisp corner. And I'm hoping I have enough of this one. I'm pretty sure that I do. Because if not, I'm really, really stuck. Oh, no, maybe I don't. I forgot to measure it. Oh, no, maybe. I'm okay. Should be okay. May not be able to use it on the... So who, who of you guys that are watching actually d does 12 by 12 scrapbooking? Let me know. Be interesting to find out how many of you that still do it. I know you do, Wendy. Um, and I know Joe does it or she used to. But, Lise, I'm not sure if you've ever done 12 by 12 scrapbooking. All right. Have a good night, Wendy. Yeah, go get some sleep, hon. Now, first, I wasn't going to use clips, but, yeah, it needs it. Because this is stuff is exactly like fabric talk, but uh, all right, let's put that there. Okay, whoa, that did not work. trying to keep it within the edges of the and uh yeah so i was like i said i had designed the original pages to go on the eight and a half by 11 but the more i looked at it the more i realized that um it was coming out too crowded too bunched up and when i went back and i looked at my own wedding album um made a big big difference so i said okay i have this album that i picked up a couple of years ago at multicrafts in ottawa and it was supposed to be for another friend of mine um but i changed up her album her album i ended up making digital and so i still have this one lying around And I kind of like this one better. I don't know if it's it's the same maker, but it's not squirting out of the bottle like fabric tack normally does. So that's a plus in my line. Because with the fabric tack, every time you squeeze a do droplet out of the bottle, the whole thing comes squirting out. This one's not doing that. So I'm that's a plus in my eyes.
And in case you're wondering, my nails or my pans are not dirty. Um, yeah, they're kind of still black from the ink that I was using yesterday. Um, I tried to dye something that didn't quite work. So. And I'm also, um, the original pages were made with a black background. And I'm finding for the paper that I chose to do this on, the black is too harsh. It works if it was just a regular, um, a regular album, but being the fact that it's a wedding album, it's too harsh. It's too dark of a background. So I'm going to try doing it again on white. Well, it's time for my appointment, so I've got to go, but I'll be back. Okay. All right. See you in a bit. And it's already grabbing on, so I'm really happy about that. Um, and in case a lot of you are wondering why I'm not using hot glue, hot glue, I find that it works, but it over time, it, it tends to come off. It tends to come right off when you're using it over and over again. So I found that fabric tack actually lasts quite a bit longer. It takes a while more to dry but it looks a lot, lot neater and a lot nicer. And I might just have enough to do the sides. We'll see once this is all done. Oh, not much. Not much. I'm not going to have enough to do anything else with it, but that's okay. I have this much left, so I might be able to use it on a uh, page of some kind. I'm just happy it was enough to actually go. Because, you know, when you're in the stores, I, I tend to buy five to ten yards and then use it on four or five projects. And by the time you get to the project that you actually bought it for, yeah, you don't have any more. Okay. So that's going to take least a while to dry but that's okay whoops do that all right now let's see what i can put in here so there we go not bad not bad at all i kind of like it it's nice and simple nothing too out there and it's perfect so now see how much of this stuff I have and see if it's enough. No, I doubt it. Let's see. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm not sure I like the double. What do you guys think? Actually, it's not bad. Once I look it up at the top. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might have some more of this. It was just in two pieces. Hold on. Close this up. Okay, I had a lot more than I thought I did. I just used the shorter of the pieces first. <laughs> okay. Looks like this one is the exact same one, but just in, was in two pieces. So what do you guys think? Should I put just a double row of the same ribbon like that? But put it this way instead? Like that? Or use this one what do you think i'm tending to like the double of the same but use this one this way so that actually no because then when the paper comes up it's got to go this way because then yeah like that see do it this way, and then put a row of pearls. I think I like it like that with the double. And then I can use this for something else, and I can use it for some of the pages. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, I think I've got plenty to do another row. Let's see. That. 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 And then I have this, this, that, that. Yep, more than enough. Yeah, exactly, Joe. Yeah, yeah. Because you wanna, you wanna, and, and because I've, I'm using the. Um, the clips, I've already got the clips on there. I can just double up the clips. I just got to figure, I think I want to start it in the back. And just use the same clips. Start it over here. All right. So this is the wrong way of doing it. I'm going to start it on the other side. This is going to look so good. Okay. So. Okay. I was going to try and do it the other way, but this is not going to work. So I'm going to have to lay it across like that. Beautifully. There we go. Okay. 
sorry guys I'm just concentrating a bit so trying to not make a mess here Don. Yeah, they are dollar store clips and uh, you get them in the crafting section and I love them. I've actually got to buy some more. I'm down to because uh, they're really easy to lose. So I've got them all in a container. So how are you doing today, Don? All right. I know most people would use two different kinds of lace, but I don't have it. So, using the same lace since I got lucky and found the same one. And then with the pearls on top of it, it's going to look really pretty. It's working. Check and see. Okay, I'm glad I moved it.
fast a bit too much. Okay, let me back up. Hey, Teresa. How are you feeling today, hon? How are you feeling today, Teresa? And I'm sorry if I'm off camera. Unfortunately, this book is pretty big, so. But I will show it to you as soon as I am done. up again. Yeah. 
anybody wants to join me, by all means, just message me and I can put the link in their uh, messenger. So, first layer of ribbon is now on there. Do I have any more clips? I do. All right, so that's the first layer. Now, the other layer I got to do, and now I've got to do the pearls. So, I think I want to use these ones. I think these ones, I think I've got lots, but no, actually, this is not going to work. I'm going to have to use these ones because these ones are on a string. Whereas the other ones weren't. Double check. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I've got something else. I have this. This is the other thing I was looking at to use. Hmm. Let me see this. Hmm. Wondering. Nope, I think I'm going to do this part first. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this part first. I think I'm going to use this. I think this is going to look a lot nicer. Wish I had some more of the one that I used for the other album, but I don't have any more.
All right, so this is not, I was afraid of that. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Damn it. All right, this is not going to work. It's because it's got that purple thing in it. I was spray painting something and the flux of the paint ended up coming on there. You can't really see it, but it's showing up on the white. So I am going to have to find something else to use. Oh boy. Hmm. No, I don't have red. she's specking it with gold and this one I know didn't get compromised Let's try this one this works Hi, Vanessa. Welcome, welcome. All right, let's see if this one works. I don't know. I've never used this one, so I don't know if it's on a string like the other ones are. I'm hoping it is, and right now, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay. Okay. This one works. I like it. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. I apologize. I'll show it to you in a minute. So what I did is I'm using, oops, okay, let's try turning it upside down. All right, so I'm putting gold on the edging of it. Since I don't have pearls, and you guys, I apologize that you guys can't see it, but you will see it once I get to the sides. Actually, I'm wondering if I don't have if I don't have to cut it. Uh, yeah, I do because it's all one sheet. Duh, that's what it is.
So right now I'm just cutting up the sheet so that when I peel it off, it'll come into strings as opposed to all one sheet. And using gold is a little bit easier too because that's, she's mixing um, gold in her save the date pamphlets and the background paper too. So if you guys watch it, um, Emily, Creative Jewels by Emily, we did a live stream, I think it was like two weeks ago, and she showed how she was making the save the date cards. So before I continue on in this section for the middle, to do it the same way I did the other one, that's this one, unless I have a red, which I don't, I have this one. It's not going to look good. Yeah, that one's the other one. No, I want to use this one. And I want to use... Similar to this one. This one here needs to be the top part of that, go that one there. Okay. Top. Then I need to go and tease the other. To, let me use this one in the middle here like I did. So what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen, is I'm just, if you noticed how I did the insert in this part, I'm going to try and copy it. Do it the same, same way, but in the whites, because I don't have, don't have any reds. So I am going to do it in the whites and mix it in with some of the reds. But it has to be done before I put in the gold trim. Otherwise, I'm going to run into the same problem that I had when I was doing the other album. So I think I need to work on the sides before I continue on with this one. So, let's see. Yeah. Got to go. Let's go here. Two. Sure. And I I don't know how I'm gonna show this on cam. But I'll have to show it after I'm done with it. Okay, that's this piece here. And then I need this piece here. So I don't have, I have that one I can put on top. Oh, this one might work too. This one might work to put on the bottom, like this. Okay. So this one has to go this way. Okay. 
Or instead of going, let's see this one. side and I'm going to make it with this piece here. Craft the match. Clean it up after. So I need the fray stuff. That's what's bugging me. Um, I don't know yet, Vanessa. I'm redoing the pages, so I'm, I might just turn that one into um, a regular journal type album. I haven't decided yet. Take a few minutes to, to dry. Basically, what I did just to give you guys an idea, I used um, what's called fray stop at the edge here, so that it it's like a glue, but it's for fabrics, and it helps. To stop it from fraying except it's not working very well but it worked over here but it didn't work it's not working here I might have to use a little bit of the fabric tack instead this might work better to keep it all together so it doesn't unravel There we go. takes care of this part. Now, what did I do with the other one? Okay, so it's going to need a piece of this. The other one I gathered first. Okay, so 
Got these roses as well that I can put on them. I was going to put some on the, the edge here as well. Just not sure about this one because I know I want to use this one on the front. So I'm going to leave this one aside. Actually, I've got maybe one other thing I can use. Just looking to see if I might have something else. Ooh, no, that's kind of that's not gonna work. That one's red. That's wired as well. I think. for the whites. said love on it. I seem, seem to have misplaced it. Unfortunately, I do not have another one like the one that I used on the other album. So I'm going to have to use this one. Figure out how to put it on. Maybe. Not gonna doesn't show up very well, does it? This one was in. Hmm. It's okay. I think it'll be fine once it gets into that. All right. So now. So the idea here then is you got to put this one on top of this one. You're gonna put this one on top of this one. This one's got to be gathered in the middle, right? Yeah, it's got to be gathered. Okay. So you're gonna put the two of them together like that. Okay. 
need to freeze stop this one as well. here this is reach now it's still a little bit together. Hi, Stephanie. Welcome, welcome. And then you want to use this one here and put it up across. I need ha, ha, ha. there it is. This Always welcome, Stephanie. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate it. I'm trying to do something so that people can see what I'm actually doing. Normally, I would do this um, off camera, but I think it's working. On me, I'm going to have to put the paper on there too before I do this. Okay, so I think the midpoint. Yeah, it's about there. The idea here is you want to take it and you want to crimp it. You want to go like that. So I'm going to do it a couple of times with the like that so that it's 
goes nice and curved in. And then you can even do it this way. Do this part here like that. So I'm going to the other side. So just so that I show you what I'm doing, so it's this way here. Again, you want to give it a couple of good shots so that it doesn't come apart. And I saw this. Um, this was being done on a um, live that, or an album that I believe Scrap Queen did. She did this, I think it was Scrap Queen. I'd have to go back. Or it could have been Sh Shelly Geigo, one, one or the other. I'm leaning towards Shelly Geigo doing this on one of her albums. This is all going to be glued, so you're not going to see it. But this is basically the gist of it. And this is going to be on the side of the album. And I'm actually thinking um, what I want to do is taking these roses. Hi, Margaret. Thank you for stopping by, hon. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I love this. This is on a string. I didn't know that. Ha! Huh, even better. Look at that. Look how this works out. Check this out, guys. If I had known that, I would have put it underneath the love. I didn't know. And I don't think I have enough room to put it in there. Uh, it'd be very tight, but yeah, it can be done. I thought it was individual and I was just going to do it. I didn't realize it was on a string. Okay. So how many do I need to pass through? One, two, three, four. So it's one. Oh, that is 
so beautiful. Look at that, guys. It is working out beautiful. So going, working from this section here, I'm going to go backwards. to my fingers so So far, I'm really liking this. I don't know about you guys, but let me show you so far what I've done. Look. So let's do the same thing on this side. Two, three, four. Cut it down over here. And I might have just enough to do the side. And just for those of you that are joining in and wondering, yes, I have, um, I am still um, smoke free. I have been smoke free since November 19th. And thanks to some friends who have bought me the Freedent gum and um, to Joe and to a few other people and also to my counselor who I have a meeting with at two o'clock today. So I'm in counseling to um, with other people that have also stopped smoking in my area. Um, my daughter is doing absolutely amazing with it. She really didn't need all the extras. It was it came really naturally for her to quit, even though she had been smoking for 20 years as well. But for myself, I needed a bit more. Um, 
Yeah, I know. I saw that, Margaret. I will send you the um, the address as soon as I finish in here. And thank you, thank you, thank you, because it is not available in Canada. So uh, Joe and a couple people have sent me um, Freedent gum because I wear full dentures. So and the gum is really helping. The other thing too that I'm uh, I'm on the hunt for is um, laws uh, candies candies, uh, Tic Tac candies in bulk, um, or the Mentos, something that I can basically keep because I'm, I don't, um, I can find it here. Um, but anything spearmint, and I'm not sure about anybody's idea, but I found these. Take a look. It's called whatever B mids. And uh, yeah, I've been <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but I've been eating those ones too. But the store that normally sells these, um, and they have like little, little different containers and things like that, um, they are still closed due to COVID. So I'm hoping um, that they're going to open up again on March 8th so that I can buy some more. All right, so, so far I'm liking this. What do you think, guys? That is going to be on the side of the album. So I'll show you what it looks like. The one that I already previously made was this one here. This is what this one looks like. So, and that one there, I didn't put any extra pearls and stuff, but this one, wow, this one is just taking my breath away. Look at that. I think Emily's going to really, really like that one. Now, do I have... Oh, I got another idea. And I'm not sure if it's going to be too much. But let's take a look. See how it looks. All right. What do you guys think if I put some... I put some hearts in it. Is it going to be too much? What do you think? Put some nice, beautiful hearts in here like that. Is it too much? Let me know. Like that. I don't think, let's see what else I've got. I don't think any of the things in here would work. We, yeah, because that's got the love in there. That's for something. I got no clue what. Ooh, wait a minute. I got these things. I think that will get lost in it. I don't think I've got enough of that. Yeah. No. So what do you guys think? Add the... Should I add the... Um, the hearts in here, or do you think it's too much? Because I don't think. Yeah, those are the only hearts that I have, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I like it. What do you think? Which part? With the hearts or without the hearts? I'm trying to think if I have any other 
anything else that we might be able to use. I don't think I do. this I might be able to use too in the book itself. Check and see. <laughs> I guess the vote is to put the hearts in there, right? Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to put the hearts in there. All right. thinking of putting white hearts but I think the white hearts would will blend in with the wouldn't show up all right let's do this let's do this And there's my alarm telling me I got 15 minutes. I'll try and come back online tomorrow morning because I'll get more done after the meeting today um, to show you guys exactly what I've done and I'll try and move my camera out a bit so that you guys can see a bit better because right now my camera is coming it's coming in close but if you don't belong to my group you guys should because I put I post all of the updates on the group and anything that I've done and then the pages themselves I'm going to rework it I found um, I have white cardstock and I might have just enough because I uh, I wanted to get some more of the American crafts white cardstock but nobody seems to have it in stock in Canada all of them have it from the states and yeah it's a little bit too much to ship it and uh and the price on amazon is quite expensive um now for those of you guys wondering okay it's gonna end up just to show you if i can i'm not sure but this is the edge of the book over here so it's gonna go this way like that see and it fits just there we go and it fits just perfectly and then, of course, I'll have something down here and down here so that it um, it shows it. But I think I'm going to call this part done. Um, okay, and I've got to put paper on this first before I do any more because the needs the paper underneath it. So let's work on that part while this dries. And there is a way of getting fabric tack off of your glass mat. I just don't want to do it right now because, yeah, that'd be too much. All right, so 
this is the album we've done so far. And I can pretty much pull these clips off now. Because it only needed to be there for a little bit till the glue dried. Just to show you what we've done so far, we'll put the lace on here, and it's going to end up with a gold trim all the way around and then the side. So now we're going to start working on the front of the album. And then I still have to do, let's put the paper on, and then I still have to do the, um, all right, so here's the paper. So my first sheet is going to go on here, and it is just perfect. That. Okay, so it looks like may not, this may not look right. Have to put it back on afterwards after I put the paper on there. Put something else behind it, maybe. All right, so let's leave this one aside for now. Might have to go and get some actual white. Oh, this paper is going to look fabulous. So we're going to need to cut this one down to how much? Three inches, it looks like. Yeah, three inches. So we're going to need three inches and three inches and six inches. So that's 12, 16, 18, look absolutely good and then I'm gonna put ribbon in here there's gonna be ribbon there there's going to be actually this might not work this won't work there's that other ribbon that I was going to use it's this one this might be too much gonna need it's gonna need a white maybe oh maybe I can do another piece of that this one with some more of that ribbon what do you think Put, do this like that Does that work okay so let's just put that in there for now no, not big enough. Okay, let's try it this way. This one. That one. This one. Okay. And then I think I've got a little bit of somewhere in here. I've 
buried the rest of the roses. There, there. Does it fit? Ha <laughs> ha, just enough. Look at this, guys. Just enough. I'm not sure I like, not sure I like this, though. This one like this and then this one on top like that and then put this one here and then that one nope I know exactly what's missing here guys okay so we're gonna not do these do this one where's that one this one this one like this like that there we go. Now it's going to work. And then put this one back on top with this one on the side here. Okay, and then this one is going to go in the middle like that. And I'm going to I'm going to be painting this red cuz this is uh it's white right now, but it's it's not going to work. White is, is not, it's not showing up on it. And then the, the rest of it, like our wedding, or it's going to say something, or the story of us, or something like that. I'm not quite sure 100%, but so far I'm liking this. What do you guys think? Too much red, not enough red. What do you think? The back of it is going to be plain. The back of it is going to be just this with, uh, not with the roses and stuff. It's going to be just plain. Yeah, because I think this one is going to be a bit much. Even though this was my original idea, but it just seems like it's way off. Yeah, see, it dies against this. So I think I really like it with this one here. Because the only other one I have is this one, which is not so out there. No, I think I'm liking that other one. It gives it more character, even though this one matches up with the laces. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. Yeah, I think I'm liking the other one. This one I think is not going to work because it's not giving enough of a contrast. I think so what I'm going to have to do is tomorrow when I'm running around I'm going to have to go see if I can go and get some gold trim some gold pearl trims because yeah it's, this is not working and it needs a gold it needs the gold so I need a gold trim to go around like the same way that I did this one let me show you. See how I did the gold trim going around the gold pearls? It's going to need that one. But it's going to need it in gold because, uh, yeah, that's the only thing that's going to show up on this red. All right. Well, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, 
Um, I appreciate everybody stopping by, but I've got my class in about 15 minutes and I don't want to be late on that. Um, but I will come back. Uh, I'll probably come back tomorrow to show you guys how this is progressing and to also to paint the cover and do some more work on it. So thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. And you guys all take care and bye for now. Take out the first red lace and leave the leave the send red lace and add the white lace. I'm not quite sure what you mean, Vanessa. I really wanted it to kind of stand out on this. Like I, I wanted like the red on both sides. I think the white dies over here. Like if I add in the that other this white lace, let's say something like this. It dies out on it. See what I mean? Like if you look, white on white is dying. So I think the two red laces together is working a lot better because I'm using it to uh, pop it out and then put the row of roses like it is going to be on the side. So I think that I like that better because it pops out this particular piece here. All right, guys. I'm going to say bye. You're welcome, Sherry. Take care.